This is Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com, and today we're going to look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia X5, a device also known as the Pureness. This is the box as it arrived from Sony Ericsson's offices. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Right off the bat, we have the phone sitting on top. Get that out here and just set it aside for a moment. We'll go through the box contents. Pull that open. And what we have here is a standard Sony Ericsson Fastport charger. A bag with something in it. Let's see. It's a pair of stereo headphones. Not sure how they work. They're not connected to anything. A couple of earbuds, replacement clip, and a Fastport USB cable. And of course the Sony Ericsson charger, and you'll notice this is an EU charger, it's not an American device. For the initial power up of the Pureness, I'm going to have the lights off here so you can get a better feel for what it looks like. It's hard to see here, but there's a little power button on the back of the device, I'm going to press that. That's going to power it up, and you can see how the display lights up quite brilliantly. You also notice in the power-up procedure the keypad and soft keys and D-pad will all light up too. You can't see them otherwise. I've got the lights on once again just so you can see that it really is transparent. Um, the glass is frosted. You can take a closer look. You might be able to tell that. It's hard to hard to see though, and also hard to see is the actual display. This is not a phone that's likely to show up too well in bright sunlight and things like that, unless you have a dark background or something going on. For example, if we do this, you can see it's a lot easier to read. So, in the interest of actually being able to see something on display, or at least maybe see something, I've uh, put down a dark black background. I'm going to pull the device up closer and show you how the main menu works. Everything, of course, is um, black and white, or I guess it's more like white or not white, because it's um, clear. Very simple main menu. You can see the position indicator on the right-hand column as we move up and down. Let's look for settings here. Press the D-pad center button and see what we have in terms of display themes. Huh? wallpaper. I can't really imagine there's much of a wallpaper, but frosty white theme. Let's see. Blocks, pixels. Let's pick blocks and see what that does. You can see the UI looks very much like a standard Sony Ericsson feature phone. There we go. And we even have a grid menu. A little hard to tell where you are, but I suppose it's passable. Go back to the home screen here by pressing the uh, red button. And let's take a look at the design quickly. Very few controls on this device. Um, I don't even know what that is yet, so <laughs> there's no instruction manual came with this, uh, so I'm not even sure what these buttons are. So there's a single button there on the left edge, single button on the right edge, SIM card slot right here. The back cover does not appear to come off, um, so you can't change the battery. This uh, gloss finish uh, really, really picks up a lot of fingerprints. Uh, oh, actually, these buttons, there's a little plus sign there, so there's probably a minus sign here, meaning it's uh, volume control. And it's bringing up the status, which is what it normally does on a Sony Ericsson phone, so it is the volume control. Uh, shortcut key here, of course. Really hard to see some of these things, though, so I apologize, but it's honestly, it's not my doing. See animated wallpaper right now. Um, it's going through some sort of numbers. Um, design, it's kind of cool. You know, it's a very expensive device. I believe it's going to be 530 pounds, um, which is darn near a thousand bucks. But it's it's a fashion device. It's not um, definitely meant for the masses. The keys uh, have. If we turn off the phone again, pressing on this back button, you'll see the keys have no obvious writing on them until there's power. So once it blacks out, we see nothing. It's just a couple of strips of plastic here. Same thing with the D-pad, 
um, and the soft keys and the call in buttons. We'll power it up again. So let's pull up the music player. I don't. Have, I have no idea how to use those headphones that are included, so um, won't show you anything about them. Don't know where the sounds coming out here at the bottom. You see that is the volume control on the left and right side. Go back. Soft key for the contacts. Don't have any in there, of course. I don't even know if you can see any of this. Back to the main menu. Uh, looks like standard features that you would find on a you know, Sony Ericsson uh, non-smartphone. So, so that's our look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia Pureness. Um, very interesting device, uh, very expensive as well, and um, not something I think you know, many people are really going to be interested in other than for the uh, uniqueness factor and the, uh, the weirdness maybe. So again, that's the uh, Xperia Pureness for Sony Ericsson, and I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.